I know this is an unpopular opinion, but please hear me out. What if we wrote fraction division like this? At least the first couple times they see it. Here's why. Let's first take a look at a couple examples. If I have to share four cookies with two people evenly, that's two cookies per person. What about this one though? If three minutes is the length of half of the video, how can I figure out the length of the whole video? We can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by two to see that the length of one video is six minutes. So the goal for both of these division problems, four divided by two and three divided by one half, is to get one in the denominator because our goal is to get the unit rate. Now let's go back to our original problem, but let's add context to this. If I can do eight laps in two thirds hours, how many laps can I do in one hour? Now our goal is to get one in the denominator here, and we can do that by multiplying by its reciprocal, three halves. And whatever we multiply in the denominator, we have to do the same in the numerator. So we can see that eight laps in two thirds hours is equivalent to eight times three halves laps in one hour, or 12 laps in one hour. So the reason why I think we should write fraction division like this at least the first couple times students see it is because they can see why keep change flip works. All we're doing is getting the unit rate. In just one step, students can see why eight divided by two thirds equals eight times three halves, because once again, our goal is to get the unit rate. Now, I know some people are more used to the measurement model of division. How many of the divisor fit into the dividend? In my opinion, that is a little harder to explain why keep change flip works, but I can make a video of that if you really want me to.